Now, the concept of a friend is perhaps not as clear-cut as it once was. Thanks to social media, our friends come from far and wide, and uh, while online friends might know exactly what we're doing on any given day, we wouldn't necessarily recognise them in the street, would we? Well, here at BBC World News, we're celebrating a bit of a milestone today. We now have five million friends who now like our World Facebook page. Uh, for more on that, we can go over to the world's newsroom, my colleague Tom Donkin with, uh, well, wow. Now, that's not a bad little celebratory cake, Tom. Yeah, David, it's not every day that we get cake provided for us here at BBC World News, but today is a particularly special day, and that's because we're celebrating the fact that five million people now like us on Facebook, and it's a very important platform for us, and increasingly so here at BBC World News. And to talk about that and uh, how far it's come, I'm joined by two uh, important guests on our social media world here at BBC World News. That's with Sam Barry, very much the custodian of our Facebook page, and also Marco Zorich, who's working on a very exciting project with BBC World News uh, in terms of sharing and content and especially video with our audience but first to Sam okay Sam five million people like us but uh, who are our friends and where do they come from so the, a lot of our audience come from Africa and Asia actually on, on Facebook our biggest audiences are India the US Pakistan and Nigeria and the UK but they're from every corner of the world and it's really helpful for us it's direct engagement with our audience they get to ask questions of famous astronauts, we get them involved in the news story and that's what the really important part of these 5 million likes is because they engage with a news story in a way that they can't do necessarily when they're watching a TV. They join dialogues, they help us understand what people are saying. So we're sitting here in the couches that we have our morning editorial meeting. More and more for me with BBC World News, I feel like all those 5 million people on social media are that invisible person at the seat at this editorial meeting because they're they're helping us decide what stories are of interest to them, what they want us to talk about. And you talked about me being a custodian. We started as, as a very small team, a one-person operation on Facebook when Facebook wasn't about sharing news. Now we've got a global team. We've got Washington, we've got Singapore, and it's become a 24-hour operation for us because we know it's important for our audience. Okay, so what are they saying to us though? You speak or you listen to what people have to say to us about certain stories. What kinds of things or what kinds of appetites do people have around the world? Well, often it'll be quite strange. It'll be something that we're not covering um, or we're covering late down in a news bulletin and then it, we'll put it on social media and we'll re realise the power of people and that might move up, depending on the editors, to, it might move up the order because people are really passionate about it. Um, but the main thing is that, you know, traditional media is a monologue. It's basically you get told what the news is and you, um, you, you consume it. Social media is a dialogue and we're having great dialogues with our audience on that social media and they're giving us some great questions for guests and they're really telling us what they think of our coverage. Thank you Sam, stay there, we'll get you to cut the cake in just a minute, but Marco, one of the big appetites online is video, video content. Just explain what's happening, what the future might be in terms of engaging with our audience. Most of our viewers uh, probably spend a lot of time on YouTube and we have decided recently to, to really focus and deliver the best of BBC News journalism on what is really the biggest video platform, search, en uh, search engine actually, on internet. So uh, it is really vital for us to tap into the areas where our audience is uh, visiting and to offer not only something you might find on television but also we want to show people what we do and how we do it and to offer a little bit more transparency about our journalism. Thank you very much. And David, you might not be able to see, but off camera, there's a lot of people milling around waiting for this cake to be cut. So we should get uh, Sam to do the honours right there. And you haven't got much time left of Global, so why don't you grab a cup of tea and uh, come up to the newsroom? Excellent. You've got a five million cuts to be made to that cake yet, Tom. There we go. They're not all going to be that generous, are they? I'll have that one. Sam, thank you very much. Tom, Marco, thank you all very much indeed. Five million. That's a pretty impressive landmark, though we say so ourselves. Uh, thank you very much.